welcome back to Lionsgate channel. Today we're gonna look at a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw a tree with watercolors. If you haven't already, you can check out our first video on how to draw trees with a pen. We'll leave the link in the description below. And if you're here for the first time, don't forget, you know what to do. Subscribe, like and enjoy the video. Let's get to Step 1. The important thing to consider before starting is the shape of the tree. Is it like a round oak or a slim cypress? We're going to take a general round shape, let's say like an acorn. The tree also is never just one flat shape, it's more complex. It consists of many similar shapes or clumps of leaves. You can roughly sketch them with a pencil. The second thing important before starting is to determine where the light comes from. That part of our tree is going to be lighter and the other part darker. That's what's going to make it appear three-dimensional. Step two, let's start applying color. First, use a light green color. A rather dry brush works better because it gives us a kind of scattering that it's going to look like leaves texture. Don't be afraid if it looks a bit messy at this point, that's good. Leave out some areas completely blank. You'll see why this is important later on. Step 3. Take a darker green color and apply it to the opposite side from which you decided the light is coming. Also apply to the bottom sides of the smaller shapes we sketched at the beginning. That also gives them some depth. Step 4. Take the darkest green color and add some further depth to the darker areas we just painted. Notice how the tree is becoming a bit three-dimensional? There's a nice color trick you can use. You can add a bit of blue to the last dark green color. At this point, it's important to wait for the paint to dry. Step 5. Take a light brown color and paint the trunk. Don't forget that the tree always grows from the ground, so spread it out a bit where the roots start. The trunk is rarely just one line, but it also has branches branching out of it at the top. Now remember those blank areas we left out? We'll fill them now. Take a branch you just painted and follow it to the blank area. That's where it becomes visible again. Make the lines thinner where they reach the edge of the canopy. This trick will really make the tree come to life. Now take a slightly darker brown and make the trunk darker just under the canopy where the shade is the darkest. This gives it even more depth. Now my personal final trick. I like to take watercolor pencils and draw a bit over the finished painting while it's still wet to give it some more texture and volume. A diagonal hatch like this does the job perfectly. You can use different colors to emphasize the shadows and highlights even further. So there you go, a tree. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to learn more. Keep on drawing and see you next time.